Our search for snow continues. This week we drove our boat 15 nautical miles further north, up to the small village of Sörwangen. It was still pretty warm at sea level, but high in the backcountry we saw some snow and the conditions looked good for winter climbing. Our goal for today is the mountain Stövler. To climb the south ridge and maybe find a route through the southeast face, we packed all our gear, a tent and lots of food to put up a multi-day base camp at the base of the mountain. A decision we would later regret. So this climb is um, not very high frequented. In fact, I don't know if it's been climbed at all before, uh, at least not in winter, I think. Uh, so uh, we are um, quite exploratory in our setup. So we, we don't really know um, how the conditions are going to be, if it's going to be mostly ice climbing or mixed climbing or, you know, alpine ice or waterfall ice. Probably it's going to be rather alpine, but uh, we have to be prepared for everything. So, yes, we are taking the avalanche gear and we're taking the ice climbing gear. We even thought about bringing ski. Yeah, it's totally up to us. There's no guidebook, there's no route description. Yeah, this is entirely new now and uh, it's kind of exciting. Einsatzcamps hattest du und hattest du schon, ne? Die liegen alle links auf dem Bett. Okay. Was fällt? <lacht> okay, ich dachte, das wäre deine Hand und das wäre sehr unangenehm gewesen. <lacht> We'll bring a tent because it's, it's very remote and we need to hike all the way into a valley to get there. But I think with this setup we uh, have a great opportunity to really get the learning curve going. To, Absolutely. To, yeah, to get to know the area here, to get to know a little bit ourselves, how we work in this area. In the next climbs we can even go lighter and faster and we'll be working better as a team. Dude, you okay? I think my backpack is literally like 20-25 kilograms. I think it's bigger than you are. What we are doing is bigger than we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. It's so warm. Going uphill with that kind of backpack is challenging. Much harder. I mean, it's not really steep, but... Whew. The more we got into the backcountry, the more snow we found. Until we reached the point where we needed crampons and ice axes. Finally. Shortly after we conked up the couloir, it started to rain and we found shelter in the tent. I didn't get basically any sleep. Pretty shitty. Um, and uh, yeah, I made the wrong decision. I didn't bring my bivy bag and uh, my sleeping bag was a little bit wet or at least damp. Um, and with the gusts that hit the tent, um, the moisture from the tent came all, all upon us. And um, yeah, so it didn't insulate so, so good anymore and uh, I was super cold and I couldn't sleep. So, yeah, this was pretty fucked. It was chilly here, quite chilly. And Marcus is right, um, so with the wet sleeping bag, and especially if it's down like his, um, mine is synthetic, um, it's even worse. It's hard to imagine conditions that are worse, because at the one hand it's like still raining, but at the other hand it's right at the edge between rain and snow, so we get like all the 
the disadvantages of the rain and all the disadvantages of the cold. Um, so, right, <laughs> that's just kind of con unfortunate. Ah. And my, my shoes are soaking wet. Like your shoes are still wet. Yeah. Damn. So, I don't I don't think it makes sense. I, 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 to be honest, it's a, it's a tough decision to make because I know this. This actually somehow meant a lot to me, and it's like our first tour on the on the Lofoten, and I've been looking forward to it so much, and was basically my my planning. I don't know. Yeah, let's just pack our stuff and then and then decide. Okay. No way. Yeah, let's get going. Let's get going. Back home. This is supposed to be the weather window, huh? Yeah, no way. No way. That definitely didn't go as expected. Even though we thought and still think it was the right decision to abort the tour, we felt devastated. But with a lack of sleep, frostbites, and bad weather, we felt that it is better to cut our losses. At least the falling snow raised our hopes for the upcoming tours. Yeah, our tour is over. We're back. We are back. We are so back. Well, honestly, I'm pretty done with the day. It's. Uh only noon about and um, yeah it's uh, I'm wasted didn't get any sleep <laughs> yeah we didn't make the ascent to the summit but still we had a first winter camping night in the polar circle so I would, would see it from that perspective and it wasn't perfect um, but it was okay-ish somehow we, we survived yeah, Marcus always has problems with his feet and his, his fingers getting cold. But um, yeah, that's just like something that is <laughs> kind of like uh, follows through through the whole expedition here. But um, yeah, it's always bad for him. Um, a couple of years ago in the Alps, I uh, got pretty wet feet and pretty cold feet and, and I had some frostbite back then. So um, yeah, after that, I'm, I'm hypersensible on my feet uh, for cold um, and uh, it was kind of the same situation this night um, didn't feel too good but I don't think it did additional damage so, so Achim is a very different body type than me I guess uh, in a weird way I never really thought about this but Achim is like like a heater almost I don't need to eat that much but when it's getting cold um, I really have problems with my fingers and my feet very early and Achim just you know he's a heater this guy as long as you give him I'm food he's uh, just hot yeah I wouldn't say that <laughs> we went to bed early that day a new project already in mind but more about that next week Thanks for watching, we're Achim and Marcus from Vertizontal, two friends on a sailing and climbing expedition to remote places. Please leave a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.